Hi everyone, it's Tim. So I'm here in the undergrad labs, ready to run our sugar water experiment. So first things first, safety, I have my goggles on, right? And what I did is, as I mentioned in our slides before this, I got in here and went to look at the experiment and realized that I had miscalculated something. If I fill this halfway with water, and then I wanna put in two thirds or more of this composition being sugar, I'm not gonna have enough room. So what I did is I cut that amount of water in half for 150 milliliters. And we can redo our calculations based on that. And again, I, I showed you this in the slides. So what I did is I took this beaker of water, I measured and made sure that there was 150 milliliters worth of water in there. There's a meniscus on this, so I went to the bottom of it. And I also did this measurement before I put in this magnetic stir bar. So I make sure I have the right amount, okay? Now what I can do is I'm gonna take this thing and that magnetic stir bar is going to be attracted to the magnet in this plate. So I'm gonna to wanna to look at this, make sure that it's relatively centered, and then I want to turn on that stir bar, okay? So right now, it's at 720 revolutions per minute. That might be a bit aggressive. I'm gonna turn it down to about 300. Okay, and I can play with this. It shouldn't really affect our results all that much. Okay. Now, this is going to be our room temperature experiment. So what I can do is I can come in, make sure that the water is the right temperature. I actually did this, checked it's exactly 20 degrees C. Okay, so we're ready to go. Now, what I can do is start putting in my given amounts of sugar. And as I showed you in the updated chart, we're going to start with one cup and then increase in quarter cup increments, okay? So I have my one cup measuring cup, my bucket of sugar. I will get a big scooping amount. I'm actually have too much here, so I'm going to get rid of my excess. And now I have 150 milliliters of water, one cup of sugar. I'll mix this in. Tap this to make sure I get everything out of there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for a little while, agitate and mix up. Okay, so I'm gonna step off the camera. We'll come back in a few minutes. All right, we're back after a few minutes. I let everything get mixed up. I even turned up the agitation a little bit um, and I can check to see what my phases are now. So the water is a little bit cloudier, okay, but I put a lot of stuff in it. Remember one cup into 150 milliliters is about 57% sugar. So if I'm going to take this off for a second, inspect it, and I can see that I only have a liquid solution. If I had gone past and into the two-phase regime, I would have chunks of sugar at the bottom here. But I don't see any solid pieces there at the bottom. So that tells us that we can keep adding some, okay? So we're going to do this again. We'll add now a quarter cup. We're gonna go in smaller increments, but I'm gonna do the same procedure. Fill up a heaping scoop full of sugar. Take this. Mix in my quarter cup. So I have one and a quarter cup of sugar. I check my table, that takes me to about 62.5%. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna give it a few minutes to agitate, mix up, and we can come back and inspect it in a minute. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So we gave it a few minutes to kind of look at it, take it off our stir plate. I'm gonna inspect this again. I don't see any solid sugar at the bottom. Just to double check, I could take something like a little scraping spatula, go down into the corner, 
make sure that my eyes aren't deceiving me. There's nothing solid down there at the bottom. Okay. So that's all right. We're not done. We keep going. Keep increasing the composition until we see that two phase region. So I'm going to add another quarter scoop. Level it off. Dump it in. We'll let it do its thing for a little bit. And then I'll come back and we'll inspect it again. And we're just going to keep doing this until we see that uh, nucleation of the solid phase. OK, we're back. And I can guess that something is starting to happen. So even without really inspecting it closely, I can hear something different. It might be hard for you to tell. There's a few hoods blowing behind me. But I can hear as that stir bar is moving, there's something scraping along the bottom of that container, all right? So what I can do, take this and inspect it. And sure enough, if I tilt this, I see that there's some chunks of sugar coming out. And to see it more clearly, I can go down to that bottom corner and start to scrape up some of those chunks, okay? I will do my best to take some pictures of this but I'm starting to see blobs of leftover solid sugar in my system, all right? So what I'm gonna do is continue running my experiment. I'm gonna just keep adding more and see how I can have the nucleation of more and more of that solid phase. I'm going to go through and run all of these steps. I most likely won't film them all. They're boring. You're going to keep seeing the same thing. But what I will do is I'll take some images and pictures to, to show you, for example, maybe how at the end you can see there's a lot more of that solid phase that came out of this structure. All right. All right. So I'm all the way at the end. So I have a full three cups of sugar in my water. Just a reminder, that means that I'm 80% in the composition of sugar. So you can tell that the color has really changed. It's very, very white. Um, the consistency is very different as well. So my stir bar is still moving in there, but this that vertex that we had at the beginning is no longer happening. And that's because a lot of this is solid nowadays. And if I go and just take and scrape along the side, I can pull off chunks. Uh, there's some liquid in there too, but I can see pieces of solid sugar that have not mixed in, okay? So that we can't really form a solution at this point. We're forming some mixture of solution plus solid chunks, okay? So I'll try to take some pictures of this from different perspectives. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll jump in and do a few of these, repeat this experiment at different temperatures. Um, I probably won't take at every single temperature, but I'll show, do at least one uh, sort of uh, set at a higher temperature so that we can see how things are a little bit different. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes.